Hello, my name is Mark Dolinar. I'm an applications engineer here with Hawkridge Systems. And today, in this episode, we're going to be learning how to blend corners inside of SolidWorks. For our example here, we have a circular extrude that was created on a circular face. Looking at it at this point in time, it doesn't seem to have any issues with how the current corner is behaving. Once a fillet has been applied to that corner though, you'll notice that there's a sharp edge which causes some errors. Now, applying a fillet on the upper section, there is a slight error, and again, it's being caused by that sharp corner. We can attempt to use the Feature Expert tool to try and fix the error, but upon completion of the Feature Expert tool, you'll notice that the corner itself blends, but might not have the best surface finish for your design needs. Now, in order to fix this, we're going to actually go through and manually recreate this corner in order to have the profile that we're really looking for. To get started, I'm going to delete the unwanted faces inside of that corner. Next, I'm going to use a series of tools to regenerate and trim away any of the remaining faces so that I end up with a nice, smooth transition between all of the closed profiles. The first approach I've used is the Face Curves tool which allows me to utilize a face, select a point, and automatically generate a curve on it. Once that curve has been generated, I'll activate out the Trim Surface tool to allow me to simply select on a region and remove it from it. Next, I'm going to create an additional sketch directly on the top face of my flat profile. In this particular sketch, we'll utilize the Convert Entities tool, delete any of the unwanted edges, and then merge that profile back together as one. After this has been complete, I'll actually go through and activate out the planar surface command. This is going to create a flat surface of that profile, which will then allow me to delete the previous face directly below that. For the last corner that we have, we'll see a very sharp edge. And in this case, there's no way for me to create a 2D sketch. However, I can activate out the 3D sketch command, and inside of this 3D sketch, I'll use my spline tool to create a spline between each of the points. Once that spline has been generated, adding tangent relationships between the top edge and the bottom edge of that spline will allow me to continue the curvature from both regions of that model. Finally, I'll reactivate the trim surface command to remove any of the unwanted material from inside of that piece. Now we're left with a nice smooth area which can easily be filled in with the filled surface command. The filled surface command works by allowing us to select on the individual regions where we would like to close the profile. Once every single one of the edges of the closed profile has been selected, SOLIDWORKS will go through and automatically merge that surface together in this one. Finally, you'll notice that the surface itself still has blue edges. I'll finish the, this part by adding the knit surface tool, which will allow me to go ahead and merge all those surfaces back together, creating one solid body that I can now work with. From here, we now have a fully custom corner that complies with our design intent and allows us to continue on with our design. I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and please make sure to like and subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems YouTube channel for more educational content such as this.